how's your Saturday morning going? I don't really have a lot of time. I woke up a little late, so I'm going to get this thing in the pipe for you as soon as humanly possible. Um, I won't be here tomorrow, naturally. I usually take Sundays off. Um, Tuesday, we're looking good. I'll check that schedule again just to make sure that we're good on that day. Anyway. Oh, well. Oh, nope, never mind. Eh, forget it. We'll get back to that. So let's get down into it. I don't have the spirit animal um, deck out today. Just the, uh, just the three that we normally do. One of my tarot decks and Starseed and Viking. So let's go with our guide. Who's our guide for this weekend? And we've got the halls again. Uh, we had that one earlier, uh, maybe like a couple days ago. And I gotta refresh myself on this one because it's one that hardly ever comes up. And it says, you will be rewarded for your work. Be brave even if you are afraid. Now is the time to work for the greater good. Volunteer. And to that I say, if you are doing any volunteer work this weekend, I hope that it does serve the people around you well. So let's start with... can't use that as a scratching post. Stop it. Sorry. Uh, he's decided to use the couch as a scratching post, which is not cool. Anyway, starting out, we have a two of cups, five of coins, six of wands. I hope you'll forgive me. My sinuses have been kicking me in the ass this morning. So with that two of cups, we have a couple of ravens there. One white, one black. You know the old saying, it only takes one white raven to prove that they exist. I'll see, two of cups here. So this one definitely symbolizes people in relationships. And what we know about it... The, uh, it's kind of interesting for that card to come up, especially with the halls there, because it does, re it does represent uh, harmony or in a relationship. We've got some cooperation and connections there. That's, uh, that's always a great thing. It's that five of coins that kind of worries me a little bit, but it's that six of ones that gives me a little bit of hope there, because looks like with the with that five of coins we do have some uh, conflict a little competition there so I think even with our cooperation there's going to be some competition and that six of wands is of course uh, generosity sharing gratitude uh, we're going to experience a little bit of loss here I think this weekend, especially if you if you're like being you have to work, you are going to have to work together with some people. Um, but it is going it is going to you're going to experience just a little bit of loss here. But that's not to worry because everything is going to turn out okay. I think so. The volunteer work you're probably going to be losing time. You're probably going to be losing money. But remember that it does turn out well in the end. And hello. Have a seat, bud. There you go. Yeah, you can lay there. So let's see what the universe has to say about our, our weekend and the spread so far. We've got Forge Don't Follow, obviously. Uh, Hyrith. We're a little homesick for the stars again, but we have a new Earth, so we do have new beginnings. Um, okay. This one's pretty, pretty easy. 
this one's a, a pretty easy picture to look at and tell you what's going on. Overall, it's saying stay the course. Whatever, you, whatever your plans are, you're gonna don't let the competition sway you too much. Uh, just do what you do, okay? Because right now, you've got good ideas. Take the lead. There's there's this one, the um, the longing for home and that homesick for the stars. Some of us are feeling that right now. Things were so much better when we didn't have corporeal bodies, bills, blah, blah, blah. You know the, you know it. But here's the thing. We're working towards something right now. Or at least you are, you watching this. And working toward that is going to be making things a little better. Let's face it, the old systems are dying. They're going away. They're not going to be here anymore. But you have to take that lead to kind of usher in <clears throat> to usher in a new era. And you have to make sure that those coming in behind you, that next generation, understand what it is, where it comes from, why the old systems failed and why the, why the new ones will work and why things continually need to evolve. Very simple. Now, let's get down to the runes here. And we have Perthro, Arcano, and Elhaz. So, Not a not a lot of bad news here. As a matter of fact, it's it's pretty good news. So you've had this experience before. Um, just remember that there's always more than one way to solve a problem. With Birkino, we remember we always got to keep in mind those humble beginnings that make that tree. It's it's similar to that one card I had from um, Starseed here. Same story. You have the seed. It's planted. It builds that network of roots. It builds, it builds, it builds it. There's a, there's a story. The Chinese bamboo story. Uh, and to kind of cut it very short, there's a man who he made his resolutions for the year. He's very frustrated with his life, and he notices throughout the year nothing changed. He changed certain things, but he's still the same guy with the same problems. He goes to his mentor and he says, I, "I'm at a loss. I don't know why things aren't changing." And he, you know, vents his frustrations. Well, his mentor says, um, "Come with me." And they go into a bamboo forest, and he says, "Do you see these these bamboo trees?" And he says, "Yes." He goes, "Well, do you know they haven't always been here?" And he he's like, "Yes." He says, "You see, when these bamboo trees are planted from a seed, the person who plants them has to come out and water them every day, without fail. If he ever fails." they die. Basically, the seed is planted, it's watered every day, whether by rain or by the person's hand, and for the first year nothing happens. For the second year nothing happens. For the third, fourth, and fifth year nothing happens. But by the sixth year it starts growing at a rapid rate. He says, so you know, these things will shoot up into the sky. So how long did it, or, or within six weeks after that fifth year, it shoots up into the sky. So how long did it take to grow? And his, his uh, protege says, well, six weeks. He goes, that's why you fail. He said, you fail to understand that. For those first five years, while seemingly nothing is happening, there's a very powerful network of roots being built and those they have to stretch very deep. 
then it starts rapidly taking in nutrients and building itself upward. That, that's the same story with any seed, isn't it? And the thing is with Elhaz or Algiz, however you want to pronounce that, the elk rune means protection. So you are protected. As long as you keep your head about you, as long as you kind of keep yourself grounded here, you're fine. You're going to be okay. So yeah, there may be a little loss here, a little, little competition, a little chaos, but it's it's going to be a, it's going to be all right. You're going to be just fine. So look, that's all I've got for this weekend. I hope that this will carry you throughout the weekend. I hope that you do well this weekend. All right, so as always, I appreciate every one of you being here. I love you. And as always, shine on. <laughs>